Hi everyone, my name is Arvind Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but today's video is so exciting because I am sharing my best home decor finds of 2020. over and while I was walking around the house last night redecorating shuffling all the things that I have I was really inspired by all of the beautiful things that I found this year from home goods target vintage antique you name it and I thought I would compile all of my favorite finds my best finds in one video that way you can get inspired to seek for your own treasures let's just get started I don't need oh what should I start with wait hold on hold on Hold on, I need to sip my tea for this. Um, mm. I need some energy. Mm. Okay, so the first item on my list. Ah! You guys, we are taking it way, way back to my very first. I don't know why I just did some squats. <laughs> we are taking it way back to my first Home Goods Shop With Me video where I found this Erin Michelena lamp and Whew. You have to comment down below if you watched that very first video because when I saw this lamp in the lamp section Oh, she's a little dusty. She actually uh, she's usually on my nightstand But if you can see how massive she is compared to me um, Just for size. I am five three five four on a good day. Okay, it's massive now this lamp is still selling online for about like $900 and I found it at home goods for about two hundred which I still think is kind of expensive for a lamp, but this is like this is luxury you guys This is a designer lamp the details. It looks like a raw like ceramic some sort of stone Brass base and the shade honey no tea no shade, but this shade is luxurious AF okay period and this this lamp inspired my whole entire series of Home Goods Shop With Me's on my channel. I actually only found one in the Home Goods that I was at, and I was telling Andrew, I was like, babe, we have to go to Summerlin, which is like tw another 20 minutes away from this Home Goods, which is really far from our house. And I remember he was like, I am not driving all the way over there for a lamp, but I knew that they were going to have the pair in the Summerlin location. And we drove there and whew, the first thing I noticed when I entered the door was my lamp. So obviously we grabbed it. You'll only come across these kinds of items like maybe once a year, okay? They are rare. They are so good. My next best home decor find from 2020 is actually this Louis Vuitton book. Now. Mm. Mm. I also found this at Home Goods earlier this year for about fifty or sixty dollars. Now, if you're into interior design, you would know that this book is very popular. She's coveted. She's a really good book, not only for inspiration from like Louis Vuitton's brand, but she's expensive. Online, she'll sell for about ninety to one hundred and twenty dollars. So I found her for sixty. Okay. And if you follow me on Instagram, which is at Arvin Olano, I'm constantly sharing deals and sales on books like Louis Vuitton, Tom Ford for like half the price. I think they're all sold out now, but if you follow me on the grams, you're not going to miss out if you're looking for a designer book. Oh my gosh, I just scared Marble. Sorry, Marble. I'm sorry. My next best home decor find is this lampshade. Now, it may look like a regular lampshade, okay? But it's not. It's actually handmade in Turkey, and it's one of my favorite finds because it is so unique. When you try to find, like, rattan lampshades, they're either, one, too expensive, they're not going to fit, like, your modern lamps, and I just couldn't find a vintage piece that was this size. They can actually custom make the size for you. I mean, just look at that craftsmanship. It's just, it's incredible. I'm going to link his shop down below. Um, I know a few of you have already ordered this piece. So if you haven't, make sure you tag me, okay? Tag me on socials. And they also have an Instagram page. So make sure you follow them. I've actually been kind of going back and forth with 
the shop that I got this from because I kind of want them to make me a custom piece for some wall sconces. Oh! Can you imagine little rattan wall sconces? Whew. I feel like I've developed my design language this entire year and rattan pieces are like one of my signature. It doesn't matter if it's modern, boho, I don't care. I'm gonna add something rattan in there because to me it just, <sighs> just takes me back to the Philippines. Like, I think that's why I am so gravitated to anything rattan. It reminds me of growing up in, in the Philippines. Okay, this next item on my list is actually an antique, okay? She's old, she's crusty, she's dusty. <gasps> you guys, this, hold on. I need to, oh, okay. Stay, stay, okay? This is an antique 19th century Turkish vessel. Need I say more? I mean, the way she like leans and tips over to the side is so cute. Her patina is just everything. And actually like when I look inside, like she's been through something. She's been through it. I actually kept the tag inside, okay? Because I have a story to tell you, just like all of my pieces, okay? Are you ready? This was the original price of this piece, $850. Now, obviously I did not pay $850 for this because when I was walking around the antique malls, okay, it like stopped me in my tracks. I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> this vessel is perfect. I looked inside, looked at the price. I was like, no. But the seller, okay, of the booth was actually there. By the way, do I look like I'm naked? I'm wearing like these camel toned pants. Anyway, the seller was there and I was like, hey, like what's the best price you are willing to let go this item for? And I remember I was like, ugh, I don't know if he's gonna like give me like a really good deal, um, you know, because it's so expensive. And he was like, I'm actually leaving my booth really soon. So all of these pieces are just gonna end up in my garage. Just give me an offer and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll let you know. So in my head, I was like, the most I wanna pay for, you know, this vessel, which is huge by the way, okay? Look at it in comparison to my head, okay? Head test, she's big. I said, are you willing to let it go for $150? He looked at me, I looked at him, he looked at the vessel, and he said, yes! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so excited. I texted my mom, I texted Andrew. I was like, babe, look what I got for 150, okay? Can you imagine paying $850 for this antique? No. All right, this next item is a vintage abstract alabaster vessel from Italy. And whew, you guys, when I found this piece, my mouth dropped to the floor, okay? It is so stunning. I actually don't know like the entire history behind this piece. I don't know how old it is, but judging by like the patina on the vessel, let me show you. It has like a little spout there and it's just like, it, I, mm. Mm. This is what gets me going. It's like abstract shapes, soft curves. To me, it looks like it could be like an ancient piece, even though it's not, but it's just the shape and the quality. This is solid alabaster, you guys. It is so heavy and it's just something that you're not gonna find anywhere. You know what I mean? When you go for vintage, you're really getting a special, one-of-a-kind piece that only you are going to have. I believe she was around $150. She's a little expensive, but it's because it's a vintage stone. Really, really beautiful quality. Oh my gosh, <gasps> I think I just got a package, you guys. I just got a package. So I've styled this piece so many different ways. I've done it on a coffee table, console table. I've even styled her up, like, turned sideways, okay? She's fabulous. We love her. 
Okay, up next is actually going to be an art piece, and it is none other than the Sarah Brooke pieces that I have here in my home. Now, the first one that I actually found is this black and white one here, and when I found it, I just remember thinking, like, this is what? This is how much? I think it's around 250 for these large, like, five by six pieces from Sarah Brooke, and I also found this, if I'm not mistaken, my very first Shop With Me video. And it's moved around a million times around my home. It's been here in my studio. It's been in my living room. It's been in my bedroom. And that's why I love like really large art pieces because it makes like such a beautiful statement. And okay, the next one is actually the same exact Sarah Brooke piece, but in the square white and gray version. I think they're titled Adrift. Now, these are reproductions of her original artwork. You guys, they are huge, okay? They are so well made, and I'm convinced that I made these art pieces go viral on social because before I started talking about them, no one really even knew who Sarah was, okay? Who's Sarah? Who's she? She is amazing, and this square one is one of my favorites because it's just so simple. Again, she's moved around a million times here in my home, and I love when you guys tag me on your Sarah Brooke finds. My next best home decor find is marble! <laughs> oh, I love you, little boy. Okay, can we, can we agree that marble matches my um, home decor in my house? I mean, look at his beautiful black and brown color. Marble, you are so aesthetically pleasing. I know, I love you too. Say hello to everybody. Okay. Oh, look at the smile. Look at that smile. Okay, all right. All right, don't chew anything. My next best home decor find is pompous grass, okay? And not just any pompous grass, you guys. These are from Amazon. Now, prime delivery, you'll get it in a few days. It's also very luxurious. Like, I don't know if you can tell, they're very uniform in shape and in size. Now, I feel like it's really hard to find pompous grass from a really trusted, like, seller or brand. These are from Luvong. Set of three is around $49, which is the same on Etsy and like any other brands. But again, super fast shipping because it's Amazon. I'll link them down below. I also have a feeling that pompous grass will have a big comeback in 2021. I feel like it's gonna be styled completely different, like not boho, we're gonna make it modern, it's gonna be paired with like really sculptural vessels, just like this. Like this is the pompous grass moment that I'm seeing for 2021. I am calling it, okay? I'm calling it. Don't forget to check it out, the link is down below. So the next item on my list is actually this travertine pedestal base. Now, when I'm telling you I manifested this piece, okay, I manifested her. I actually saw the exact same piece on a vintage shop on Instagram, and I remember thinking, I was like, oh my gosh, this piece is so stunning. I have never seen anything like it before, and right now I feel like Travertine is making like a huge comeback for 2021. Oh! Comment down below if I should do a video on upcoming 2021 interior decorating trends. I feel like that would be a really good video. Anyway, Travertine is making a huge comeback, and when I saw this, I was just like, I want one. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna find one. Now, fast forward a week later, okay? This piece showed up locally here in Las Vegas, and you're not gonna believe how much I paid for her, okay? Are you ready? Are you, are you ready? Okay, because I, I'm not ready. I paid a total of $100 for this piece and literally the day after, a friend of mine sent me a listing on first dibs for the exact pedestal for around 3,000. Talk about a good ass find, okay? Period. Okay, this next one, are you ready? <gasps> Oh my gosh, this next item is actually a vintage Peggy Mock sculpture from the 1970s. And you guys, I don't think I've ever talked about her 
properly here on YouTube. I found her in a local antique mall and I only recognized it because I've seen it in Athena Calderon's Brooklyn Brownstone. And you guys know, okay, it's not a secret that I take a lot of my design inspiration from the vintage finds in her home. And when I found her, I literally lost my shit. I was like, what is happening? Okay, this is just, first of all, she is heavy. She's in great condition, okay? She's solid stone. And when I did my research, these are actually a um, exact replica of Peggy Mock's original sculpture. And they were made for Alva Museum, if I'm not mistaken. And I feel like when they were making these pieces for the museum, like they didn't cut corners on materials. They, they used real stone or like real marble. And that's why they're like a little bit expensive on the resale market now. I love her shape, her form, her color. I have a very neutral home and I've learned that I can add and inject color using accessories, sculptures, vessels. That way, if I ever get tired of the color in the room, I can always just take her out and put her in another space. And when I'm telling you I manifested her, I manifested her. Let me show you another piece, okay? Hold on one second. Okay, look at this, okay? I remember when I was reading Athena's book, Live Beautiful, I saw this sculpture on her coffee table and I just remember thinking, I was like, wow, that piece is stunning. I love how sculptural it is. I love the shape that it has. And so I saw this in a local antique mall and I was like, Whoa! that's it. I'm taking her. I love the shape because if you look at it, I mean, they're so similar. She's a little bit smaller. I think she's made of soapstone. But I remember when I took this home, I was like, oh, if only I can get such a beautiful sculpture like Athena's. And girl, literally like a month later, I found the Peggy Mock and I tagged Athena on Instagram and she was like, no way, mine is actually from my parents' home. And it was actually really cool to hear that story from her, that her piece came from her parents. This is why I love vintage, is like the story, the patina, the history. It, it makes a home just like that much more special. So the next item on my best of 2020 list is this Pottery Barn felt art piece. Now, you guys, I have a story to tell about this piece, okay? When we bought our sofa, it's a caramel kind of cognac leather from Pottery Barn. The photo that was on the website was actually styled with this same exact art piece. And I remember thinking, I was like, babe, this is the perfect little moment for the living room. I remember they were having a sale online that day. So let me go online and just add to cart this beautiful art piece. And even though it was 30% off, shipping that art piece, okay, to my home would have been an extra $500. And I was like, no queen, we are not doing that. Shipping is too expensive. So we actually drove to the local pottery barn and we were just like, hey, if we ordered this through you and just like picked it up in your store, can we like, you know, avoid the shipping cost? And they were like, what item? Give us the style number. So I gave them the style number. She went behind the computer and she was like, she was like, okay, let me check for you. And she was like, hmm, that's funny. It shows that we have one in the back, but I've never seen it. So we're gonna have to go look to see if we have it. And I just remember thinking like, are you kidding me? And so I've worked in retail for years and sometimes when they have like one item in the back, it's always a discrepancy, okay? Always. So Andrew and I were waiting and it was about like five minutes past and the lady came back with this massive art piece, brand new, okay, brand new, pulling it because it's so heavy. And I just, re I just remember being so, so happy. She was ripping the packaging and there she was. There was my art piece. She was 30% off, okay? So I think we paid around 250 or like 300. And it has been photographed a million times on my social media. It's one of my favorites. I will never part with her. So many of you actually like message me, email me, DM me saying like, if you ever want to get rid of her, let me know. I'll buy it from you. I'm like, no, I'm not going to get rid of her queen. She's special. And that story is just <sighs> brings me back. Oh, actually another story 
Andrew and I went to California one day and this art piece fell from the wall, okay? Broke our coffee table and, whew, this piece is gonna be with me in this home and in the next, and it's one of my favorites. So this next item, I actually found the same day or the same week as that antique Turkish vessel. And it is a Tony Paul stool from the 50s. You can really tell on the patina of the rattan that it's super old and that kind of walnut finish, walnut color. Um, you guys, things are just like not made the way vintage pieces are. Unless you're buying like super high-end decor, vintage is just made so, so well. I mean, this came from the 50s, okay? It's over 70 years old at this point. Or maybe it is 70 years old. She's 70 years old. Now, these are reselling online for about $400 to $500, depending on the seller, if it's first dibs, cherish, whatever. I paid, okay, $15 for this piece from my local antique mall. So the next item on my best 2020 list is the Restoration Hardware Gilt Mirror. Now, this one is so special because my friend Hannah Naylor, she's a fellow YouTuber, she actually helped me get this piece. I've been waiting like weeks, months even for this. And right now it's actually in my bedroom. I haven't even like photographed it for socials yet, but it is stunning, you guys. I got it for half the price, okay? So around $600 at the outlet. If you wait, you can find like the perfect, perfect pieces for your home. And mine is actually the 78 inch um, height. And I will admit, now that we've had it for like a few weeks, Andrew and I actually want the 10 foot version because our ceiling, our walls are actually really tall in the bedroom. We were keeping a lookout for the 10 foot version and I think I'm gonna move the smaller one here in my studio. So up next on my best of 2020 list is this paper mache bowl from Centered Style, okay? She is really stunning. First of all, she's massive. She's I think 15 inches in diameter. So let me just head test, okay, head test. As you can probably tell, I love home decor pieces that are big and large and can stand on its own. I'm really kind of building this collection. Not only is it the most affordable price, okay, that I've seen on these bowls, usually they're like $100 and up anywhere else. Centered Style has it for around like $68. i am gonna link all of their channels and their links down below because you have to get your hands on one of these before it sells out. I have it sitting in my coffee table. It houses my remotes. I've used it as decor on shelves, on pedestals, on console tables, you name it. She's versatile, she's good. The next item on my list is really special and it is the Arvin mini stool from Salt Air Vintage. Now you guys, this is a primitive Chinese elm stool and Salt Air Vintage actually named it after me, you guys. I'm freaking out, like I've never had a product named after me, okay? and. They told me that you guys actually sold out their first launch of these mini stools. I just want to thank each and every one of you if you've purchased anything through my links from small businesses like Salt Air Vintage because you are truly supporting someone's dream. And that is just, it is so special. Like, yes, you can buy things from Home Goods and Target and whatever else, but when you're buying something like this, it's just, it's gonna make you feel good inside, and I hope you continue to support these brands that I um, rave about here on my channel. So the last item on my best of 2020 list is actually this Jaipur living rug that I found from Home Goods, literally like the very first week of January. It could have been February, but this rug is so special to me, you guys, because not only is it the most amazing hand knotted wool quality rug, color palette, pattern, style, print. It connected me to Jaipur Living and I was able to do a dream collaboration with the brand. And to me, that's just like, 
It is so crazy that I started this channel sharing my home decor finds from home goods to now turning it into a full on business. And it's all thanks to you, your support. Thank you so, so much for watching my videos and coming back and chatting with me on the comments and tagging me in your stories. It means the world to me. So I hope that you have a wonderful holiday and a happy, happy new year. Thank you so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.